Hi, I'm Edward, a year 2 student currently pursuing a diploma in aerospace engineering from the School of Engineering and you're watching Of Course MP where I will be showing you what a day in the life of an MP student in my course is like. Alright, I'm having my first lesson of the day, which is Aerospace Fundamentals. Based on the requirements of the SAS 66 license, the Aerospace Fundamentals module includes topics such as aerodynamics, cockpit flight, and engine instruments. In today's lesson, my lecturer is going through mainly about engines. Engines are what pushes the plane forward, as well as to allow them to soar through the skies. We are also going through the ATA codes, which is a way to categorize the various systems present on an airplane. The Aerospace Fundamentals module is a very practical module as we have a group project to test and analyze a glider. Here's a video taken of our test flight. Isn't it so cool? I'm now at the Aerospace Hub, where various aviation marvels are displayed. Firstly, there's the A4 Super Skyhawk given to us by the RSAF after them retiring the aircraft. In addition, there is also this Bombardier business jet which provides students like myself with an immersive experience to learn about the aircraft systems. There are also various engines displayed here in the hangar which give us a better understanding and visuals about how the engine works. I know some of you may be wondering about my course. So now let's find out more from Dr. Tua, the current course chair of aerospace engineering. So Dr. Tua, how has COVID-19 impacted the aviation industry and how does MP prepare students to adapt to this new working world? Okay, definitely COVID-19 has affected the industry as well as the way that we live. However, there are certain parts of the industry that in fact saw a growth during this period of time. MP has prepared our students for this through our strong partnership with the industry. Despite COVID-19, we are still able to secure internship placement for our students at companies such as Jet Aviation, OEM Services, and SASCO, thus giving our students the exposure to the aerospace industry. Moving on, I'm now having my next class, which is Diploma Plus in Advanced Engineering Mathematics. The aim is to connect mathematics to life and its related disciplines. Some of you might have learned about differentiation back in secondary school, so here I am learning about its applications. This Diploma Plus helps to strengthen and broaden our mathematical skills in preparation for university admissions. The learning I gain has always been seen as a valuable asset to me entering further studies in the field of science and engineering. Now that you have a taste of what I learned in aerospace engineering, let me share why I decided to join this course at MP. Ever since my parents brought me to an air show when I was younger, I fell in love with airplanes and wanted to learn more about them. Hence, I'm realizing my childhood dream by studying aerospace at MP. In addition, Niam Poly provides the only polytechnic diploma that allows students to choose between avionics and mechanical specializations. In avionics, you get to study the principles of flight and the various sophisticated systems. On the other hand, the mechanical track learns more on the fundamentals of engineering system design, aircraft structures, and materials. As I am more interested in the trends in the advancements of the avionics sector, I am keen to pursue related fields in the future. Hence, I chose avionics as my specialization. If you are interested in learning about aircraft structures and engineering system design, this is definitely the course for you. And that's a day in my life at MP. I hope you enjoy learning more about the Diploma in Aerospace Engineering as much as I do. Alright, that's all for now. Bye!